what's up guys welcome back to the channel and uh once again we have the raptor here and we're gonna have a couple parts put on because uh she broke that nice case saver that uh i put on in the other video let me just look at that it got completely trashed i'll show you guys a different angle right now so this is the inside of it it looks like the chain hit right on the edge i guess you say the inner side of it and which is why I think this guy came off and just couldn't take it. You just look at that. Completely shredded. <laughs> All the rivets that hold it are gone too. <laughs> Except just one. There's only one here. But uh, let's see what the case looks like. Man, that is torn up. But anyways guys, yeah this happened while uh, I was riding with some friends down at the sand dunes here in, uh, in Pismo. And uh, unfortunately my GoPro malfunctioned. I don't know what was up with it. It was really acting up, so I, I really couldn't catch it on film. But yeah, I was just riding on a, on a regular level surface, like the lower part of the dunes, and uh, yeah, I just threw the chain. Um, and the, the T seemed sorry about that. The T seemed fine. The chain does too. I looked it over once I got home, and um, so I don't know why I threw it. Maybe it swallowed something. That's what I'm guessing. Well, they got caught in the teeth or something. But I mean, it looks clean. But anyway, let's uh, let's work on putting on a new one. So for the replacement, guys, I'm gonna be using uh, this case saver from uh, Armadillo Motor Products that I found on eBay. Um, they seem to have a bunch of good reviews, and uh, this is not really more different than putting on the uh, other um, case saver. But um, the difference is that uh, obviously this will, these three bolts will go mounted right to the case, and then these will go right where the original um, case saver goes. Um, should be pretty straightforward and uh, all you really need is a size 8 millimeter if I can get it to focus well, but it's, it's all it takes a size 8 and then after that we're just going to jump over here to uh, put on this heat shield that I saw on eBay as well it's not bad it cost me like about I think 35 bucks it was on sale and uh, I know I've, I've heard some things about these guys but um, it's not going anywhere important you know if it's if it acts up or like starts to chafe or it's not going to damage manager whatsoever, it's just going to be outside. All it is is just a heat shield. So we'll be putting that on too as well, guys. So on this side, guys, all the bolts that you're going to take off are going to be this one, uh, this one, and uh, this guy. This three and then, obviously I don't have it here because I removed it. I was still able to save this one. Um, and there's a that broken piece that's gone. I might do all that later. I'm not. I'm not sure about that. But for the moment, I'm not. I'm just gonna step this guy on. Um, but uh, oh, sorry, I dropped it. It's just gonna go like this, all so you guys can picture it like that. Pretty straightforward. All right, so let's get to it. Now something I'd like to point out guys is that uh, you're not going to use the original bolt anymore which were these guys anymore. You're going to be using the ones that came with it because they have that extra spacing for the case saver. Just so you guys know.
back guys so here it is installed um like i mentioned it goes directly to this part of the case i'm not sure what it's called but um yeah so and it also if you know you didn't break them like i did it has the the mounting holes um for the uh, original um where, where the original case here we go sorry um but yeah that's it it's pretty simple uh it seems seems a whole lot tougher than the one uh i had um and I, i'd like to point out too that it's also a, a little bit thicker than this one this one seems a little bit uh, slimmer so that should help me in the long run hopefully but uh yeah that's gonna do it for this one guys uh now i'm gonna move on to uh, installing the uh the heat shield all right guys so now uh we're gonna remove the heat shield which is this is the part i'm gonna remove and then this little guy right here um and all you're gonna need for this one just as you can see in the video just uh, a screwdriver but make sure you find the one with the the flat tip because uh yeah the one with the point really wasn't working Before I put this on guys, I thought I'd share with you guys, um, the money hardware it comes with, it gives you these, uh, flat, flat style washer, and then, uh, this one with the lips is a little bit thicker, um, I put the thick one on the outside, and then the, uh, the thin one on the inside, um, I didn't come instructions, is kind of what I'm guessing, and, like, I couldn't find anything on their website either, um, I just sort of went based off their pictures, but um, just this is what I did. And so here it is installed, guys. Um, check it out. I think it looks really nice. Uh, let me see if I can turn the light on for this. There we go. Sorry, I'm just working in, in my garage with the one light bulb. Um, but man, I think it looks really nice, actually. And uh, I forgot to mention, but for these, all you need is a size uh, size 4 Allen head. Allen head, I can't focus, but... It's a size four, and that, that's what you're gonna need for that. But uh, yeah, it turned out nice. So uh, there you have it, guys. That's how you install that uh, heat shield and that armadillo case saver. Um, I'll find a spot for this one later on. I don't know where I might put it, but I'll find a good spot for it. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, also, too, um, I have to apologize. You know, I've been inactive uh, all last week. I mean, last year, sorry. Um, didn't do much writing, you know, uh, we moved into our new, new place, which finally have our, our own little garage. And uh, on top of that too, we found out we we're having a baby, which explains all these little guys. And on top of that, it was the busy season at work. Once we were kind of settled in, that's why I got a mess in here. Um, so I do apologize for that guys. Um, but for this year, I hope to do a lot more writing and a lot more video for you guys. So, uh, stay tuned guys. And, uh, thanks for watching.